Welcome to Calculus 2 at St. Louis Community College. This section is an online section being offered through the Forest Park campus. My name is Mike Lukey, and I'm the instructor of the course this summer. There's a lot to do, and there's no time to lose, so let's talk about how you can get started. First, log into Blackboard and click on the first few links in the course menu on the left side of the screen. Read through the documents and materials that you find there, especially the syllabus document. The syllabus has a lot of information in it, but it's very important that you read it carefully because it contains important details about policies and components of the course you'll need to know throughout the session. Basically, throughout this summer, I'm going to ask you to complete four main kinds of tasks. Assignments, activities, weekly discussion forums, and exams. The first task, the assignments, will be one that I ask you to complete several times per week based on the new topics you are studying. About once or twice per week, there will be an activity for you to work on that expands upon the topics that you've been working on in the assignments. The assignments and the activities are crucial components of your preparation for the exams in this course, about once every other Thursday. Those exams are paper and pencil based and will occur on the Forest Park campus on the dates and times given in the syllabus. Taking the exam with me at the Forest Park campus allows you to ask questions and get help as necessary, but if you need to make alternative arrangements, that's possible. Please read the syllabus for more details. Nearly everything you do for this course will happen in one internet site called My Open Math. My Open Math contains all the course materials like the textbook, the video resources, and required tasks. It's pretty easy to use, and the best part of all is that it's free. Your only required cost for this course is your tuition. Everything else is available for free online. Those of you who have taken other calculus classes at Forest Park recently have used MyOpenMath before, but if not, there are videos in our course Blackboard page that can help you set up your account. Once you have logged into MyOpenMath, you should check out the materials in the Start Here block of that platform and introduce yourself in the first weekly discussion forum. Next, take a look at the review unit, which is Unit 0. Unit 0 has some resources to help refresh your memory about topics you should have studied in Calculus 1, which will be valuable in this course. Don't worry, that material will still be available when you need it. Then, get started in Unit 1, which is the beginning of the Calculus 2 material. Getting off to a good start in an online math course is really important because keeping up with the work and the pace of the class is probably more difficult than the math itself. Most of the time, if you can finish the required tasks without getting behind the, sh the schedule that I suggest in the syllabus, your chances of success are very high. So what does it take to stay on track in a course like this? Well, consistency is the key. I'm recommending to all of you that you commit to working six days per week on math. It's unlikely that you're going to finish this course successfully working only once or twice a week on it. The biggest mistake that students make in a class like this one is underestimating how much time and energy online math classes require. This is a five credit course, and if you were enrolled in a face-to-face -face session during the summer, your instructor would probably recommend that you commit about eight or nine hours a week in class and at least that many hours outside of class for doing homework and studying. Since online math classes usually require more time than face-to-face -face classes, I'm estimating that you should spend at least 20 to 25 hours every week on math in order to be successful. That breaks down to working about three to five hours every day, six days a week, which is what I recommend in the syllabus. Although not everyone needs this amount of time, some students need more time than this in order to be successful. Think carefully about the amount of time you have and the amount of time and energy you'll need to be successful in a course like this. If you're concerned about the level of, equip of commitment that it requires, now is the time to contact me about that. Send me an email, give me a call, or stop by my office. Speaking of stopping by my office, I want to say a few things about office hours. After the first few days of the class, Blackboard will primarily be the place where you can meet with me for virtual office hours. 
Everything else will take place in the MyOpenMath platform. However, Blackboard has a utility called Collaborate, which allows us to conduct a full service video chat with a whiteboard, instant messaging, and everything we might need to talk about math questions that you have. I'm also available on the Forest Park campus if you want to come and talk to me in person. My campus office hours are listed near the top of the syllabus document. If you can't make it to campus, though, I'm happy to schedule an appointment with you to meet in Blackboard Collaborate. It's not easy to work through a calculus course online, but I think I've set up a course that's ready to support you along the journey. My primary goal is to give you opportunities to build the strong mathematical foundation to help you complete the calculus sequence and use it in your program of study. I'm looking forward to working with each of you this summer, and I hope you have many positive learning experiences in the course. Good luck.